Hi folks, thanks for looking in. A uh, bit of Fabriano 130 pound <coughs> studio practice paper. Uh, palette, well, cadmium yellow pale. Uh, yeah, we'll see that. Uh, Elizabeth and Crimson, which I hardly use. Light red, ultramarine, burnt humber, don't use a lot of that because Payne's grey and burnt sienna make a good substitute. This one is a blue version of Payne's grey, which is good in its way. That's my ordinary Payne's grey, and there's my burnt sienna. Oh, I'm going to go those again in case you missed them. Cadmium yellow, pale, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey, Payne's grey, burnt sienna. But that's the blue version there. Okay, so the first thing we do is to give the paper a good wet. But not so sloppy that it runs down the paper. I'll let you into a secret. This is this demo is on the other side of the one I've just done for Patreon. Uh, most of these will end up as oil paintings. Give them a prime with PVA glue and, or add a colour, an acrylic colour. They don't all work out as sort of saleable, but as demonstrations so you can sort of make for, forgiving noises if they're not up to, to a sort of a studio standard. All my stuff is uh, painted for YouTube or Patreon. Uh, and occasionally, if I get a good one, I'll put it on Etsy. But that's been very quiet lately. Right, but uh, put a sky in. Got a nice, nice little bit of a uh, bit of sienna. It, it, will, it will disappear largely. It's quite a weak colour, but I don't use yellow ochre. I use yellow ochre in. Uh, in oil painting and acrylic, but I prefer I prefer the uh, the raw sienna to to uh, I forget what I'm going to say. So I'm thinking about something else. Uh, a bit of red in that sky. Now we're going with a bit of blue, my usual sky. I mean, never know exactly how they go, what, what they'll go, what they'll turn out like. Sits and miss really, because it's wet, unpredictable. Well, let's just get some nice, just touch the paper. some clouds hmm. <coughs> a bit more blue hmm, I don't know I did miss a bit let's just put that in there Okay, this is going to be an exercise in in lifting out with a plastic card. Well, we'll just let that sink in a bit. Uh, now I'll give it a dry. Well, most people seem to like my my skies, the way I do them. Uh, I, I I put all these demos on Facebook with links. And my, my page, Dave Asher, artist, uh, I don't allow anybody else to post on it. It's my, for my promotions. But I've got over, well over 2,000 demo, uh, demos on, on the still, so I always post a still. And you probably get a better indication of what the, the colours are like by looking at the photograph. So I don't really trust the webcam that I'm using at the moment. Okay, now I want to do the streams, so I'll use my 
Wrist hake. My hakes are wearing out. They're losing hairs all over the place. I get my bit of cloth. Okay, now I'm going to start with the foreground and work my way up. So we want plenty, plenty of colour. Red. That's a nice colour. A nice mix of colours. Bit of red in there. Go put some trees on there. And now I'm going to come across here with a similar effort. It's got to be dark, otherwise, if you you're lifting out will be a bit too insipid. All right, let's get some Yellow sticking out here. Bit more water. Okay, so that'll do for that. Let's get a nice green, page grey, and, and that yellow. Dark in there, shadow. And we'll go with, go with the with the card in a minute. Oh, a couple of pines. Let's have one sticking out here. Okay, well a bit high really, but we'll uh, make with the car. That's the side I did first. So let's just I'm overdoing this just for the sake of the demonstration. Here is look easy Ooh. Uh, same here a 
Okay, that gives that just gives the illusion of of a lot of rocks. So let's just try it a bit quick now. Okay, I'm going to do a. Uh, oh well, let's uh, put some up there as well. I think it's a bit bare. Okay, that'll do. I'll give that a try now. Oh, I just forgot a little bit to unpause you. I've just um, put just some, some birds in and some uh, with a rigger and some just some back strokes. And I put a I put this bit in here. I came down a bit too far. My thinking was it was wrong think, wrong thought there. See if I can just lift a little bit more of that that uh, view out. Now that's a bit better. Let's take that out there. Right, okay, we'll let, we'll let that go. Put the mount on it. Now we're probably for quite a bit of rain again over the weekend. Had some of you yesterday. It's nice and mild, I've been mild. It's great weather for my runner beans, rhubarb, uh, Victoria plums, half of which get to get attacked by the plum moth you have to it happens every year can't help it but we get it's a very heavy crop up so we do get loads of plums off of it and loads for the freezer well there we are so i hope that's okay hope you like that one i'll get that uploaded now thanks for watching bye bye